Снайпер! Ханта! Прикрой меня! Я должен перезарядиться! Holy crap, folks! The lineup of tier 11s on the Russian server is not that interesting, to me at least. This vehicle, the MBT-B, has been collecting dust as a tier 10 for about a year and a half. Not really a new vehicle. The actual object 279 has been modeled, and the model could be placed on stuff like IS-4s or IS-7s. That happened about 7 years ago, so not really a new model. Already have the object 452K, so assembly shop for this vehicle, and this is the only new tier 11 on the files. So let's take a look. Disappointing. <laughs> Yep, okay, sure. America! Yep. All right, fine. Wait, hold up. Wait, 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 wait. Actual missile projectile? Okay, that's a cannon shot. That doesn't count. So is it a bore fired missile, right? Let's see. Is that actual ammunition? Not just a cinematic effect of Adobe or something or Sony Vegas. Is that an actual ammunition type? That might be something new. That might be interesting. Not just a tier 10 rehashed as tier 11, right? That's the only interesting part about this video for now. The Chinese vehicle looks like a twin tracked heavy tank somewhat like a BZ-176 with the double tracks. The turret is obviously different in shape. There's a bulge for the gun depression in the middle of the turret. It's a big caliber, likely 130 or so. Possibly, no, it's not 152. It's too small for a 152. Yeah, 130 or so. Yeah, slope haul front, it's a new vehicle, wide tracks, twin tracks per side, like a Doom Turtle-ish, or BZ-176, yada yada. Alright, not a bad looking vehicle. Turret cheeks might be a weak spot, looks kind of flat, but we'll have to see. Assembly shop for this vehicle next year, maybe, as tier 10. <laughs> And of course, the actual 279 Okay, whatever Yeah, the only interesting thing was the missile, but I think that's just cinematics, not actual missile ammunition, right? You can switch from shells to missiles. I doubt it, but 
Yeah, tier 11s. Not that interesting. We already have the. <laughs> we already have one of these <laughs> from assembly shop this year, so not a new tank. The same goes for the MBT B. Been collecting dust for about a year and a half. Not really a new vehicle. It's already at tier 10, so whatever. The model for the 279 has been in the game files for developers for about six or seven years ago so not really a new model and the only new vehicle is the bdt or dz or whatever the hell they call it but let's take a look at the article translate to english tanks will be 14 years old blah 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 game mechanics tier 11 tanks will be january 22nd so bookmark this page they'll put you into more info Details of the tank's appearance are not final. So, tank exterior details are not final. This is only a teaser, but... Okay. Yeah. 279 actual vehicle, not the 726. But model has been in the game development for about 7 plus years, so not really a new model, technically. Alright, we're already, we're already seeing enough of this. <laughs> so, yeah, this was the teaser. From this little hole, it's 452K. Everybody knows it. The same goes for the MBTB. So, everybody knows this vehicle too. But the only new vehicle is this thing, the Chinese one. But that is practically it. So, alright. <laughs> they have their own stats. And special skills. Sure shot improve overall tank stabilization when moving. So it's like onslaught practically. Pfft, gross. <laughs> it's like onsla onslaught perks. After you get certain amount of kills, you get a special skill or something. The activation of a perk, but increased engine power but i don't care i really don't like these skills or perk effects it's stupid right it's pretty dumb but have combat skills yeah whoopee <laughs> gross first four vehicles would be re representatives of heavy tank class there they did not put any freaking german <laughs> and that's it so whatever only four for now but all heavy tanks, there is no Leopard 2 AV, there is no Type 79s, there is no AMX 40s, right? None of the new 80s era, or at least 70s era vehicles, but god, it's so disappointing. Also, 1.28 on the common test for the Russian server has been dropped, and there's only one new vehicle. And that is a Russian captured Panther tank. That is it. There's no other new vehicles to talk about. Not really. I took a look. I went through the list. There's no new vehicles. They are testing the Polish tank destroyers. So Polish TDs. They are testing it now, but yeah, whatever, right? Not really. They shift the vehicles around. They put the Burza at tier 6 still this is the Kalana they call it the Burza what the hell is this thing oh that is the Grom that's not the Burza <laughs> we already mentioned that but yeah they're already testing the Polish tank destroyers they don't have to check auto cannons so they are more focused on loot boxes of old contents rather than actual new vehicles per se but yeah, there hasn't been a new tech tree for the Russian server in a while. Yeah, this is the the Blaskowitza. They call it the WZ70T testing. Okay, whatever. Weird names, but yeah, there hasn't been new tech tree on the Russian server in a while. They're mostly focused on loot box of old contents. Let's see, yeah, nothing new. They put the GPT-70, 75, which is basically the BZ tanks without the rocket boosters firing howitzers or derp guns. And that's it. They have the Japanese gun cooling stuff, but 
not the Polish tank destroyers. Yeah, nothing else is practically new. So, yeah, they're mostly focused on loot box. And we have 50 on the common test. Is it keys or something? I have one key and 20 lock picks. So, all right, let's just test it. Whatever. Is it animation? Yeah, 3D is a premium. Wonderful. You can also use lock picks. Lock picks are only effective at 10% chance or something. But I have 20 of these, so let's. I don't know how lock picks work. Lockpick broke. <laughs> okay. It's a mini game. Yay. More gambling with your actual mini game. Okay, we'll put one more. <laughs> so dumb. Broke again. Oh, it actually worked. 10% chance. That's pretty good. Right? That's very good. Ch Is it 10% chance? I have no idea. This one should fail. Otherwise, it's more than 10% chance. Yep, it should fail. Open one more. Yeah, this is so dumb. I mean, hopefully. Yeah, broke again. Well, actually, we got lucky. 10% chance we actually got one to work. Okay, so now it's make, making more sense. Definitely making more sense now. <laughs> yeah, broke again. Open all of it. Two retraining orders. Interesting. Yeah, I use up all of it. So 10% chance you have a bunch of lock picks. Don't know how you get it. Don't care about how you get it. Whatever. So the best vehicle you can get is why is the turtle having a premium tank symbol? Whereas other ones have the actual profile picture. I have no idea, but nothing new. It's still a loot box, but you have 10% chance to get 500 lock picks. <laughs> that has a 10% chance to work. I don't think the lock picks have a guarantee, right? Do they have a guarantee? Like after so many lock picks, you have to get actual thing. Yeah, I don't think there's a guarantee with the lock picks, unlike the keys. But yeah, that's kind of dumb. So there you go, folks. Nothing really new on the Russian server. There is the racing stuff. So they put racing back with, I think it's the Vickers car too. Kind of looks like the original Vickers car. Or the, not the Vickers, the Lanchester car. What the hell am I talking about? This is the the Hotchkiss, but is it the Hotchkiss? I don't I don't remember the names. Is it the actual Hotchkiss? AMB. Ah, uh, okay, never mind. Forgot the name. It's the AMD 178B. But yeah, the Lanchester car has not been in the game files for a while. So they put a cruiser turret on top of the Lanchester by the looks of it. It's not this turret, if I remember correctly. But different muzzle, brake thing, that's kind of weird, kind of square shape. But yeah, car is back. So yeah, we'll be also, don't forget, Panther tank. <laughs> don't forget the Panther. Yeah, they already have a new Panther for the Russians. So. Yeah, panther tanks are like herpes. Once you have it, might as well spread it around. <laughs> there's a Polish version, there's a French version, the actual baby panther, that is the VK3002. But yeah, they're all the stats are the same. The same penetration, same accuracy, same aim time, gun depression, DPM, all the same. There's a slight difference in upper plate armor and side armor, but not that dramatic. Same goes with the camo. Not that dramatic. Same view range. Radio range. Yeah, okay. Also, it looks like they took another Panther's turret and placed it on a salvage Panther chassis. But, yeah, Russian Panthers. Well, okay, fine. Whatever, I guess. I don't know. Well, there you go, folks. Tier 11s are not that interesting. They did not mention the rockets, the missile things. But I think that's just cinematics, right? They did not mention the rockets. Not really, so... Unless they give the shillelagh to the Sheridan or something, or MBT-70 is on the horizon, but I doubt it. So, yeah, auto cannon has not even been mentioned, and they're pushing tier 11. There's no new mechanic, you're just basically up tiering tier 10s. That's not fun, that's not interesting. It's like playing, oh, another tier of vehicles that has practically the same mechanic. 
of just shooting the gun and there you go a little bit more health to deal with better sloping of the armor there is no composite armor there is no reactive armor there is no special shells with a gun there is no auto cannons there's no machine gun coax there's nothing nada there is no APS active protection system none of that there's no smoke screen god smoke screen is very ancient of a technology to put on vehicles they have it for world war one and world war two but no you cannot even use smoke screen and smoke grenades or even the engine smoke none of that so whatever <laughs> but there you go folks <laughs> shitty on tier 11s for now but okay whatever i guess yeah the ratings are not great not really that great can i translate to english i can't i'll translate to english okay Oh, BZT70. Alright, fine. EBR tier 11. <laughs> yeah, whatever. I don't care. Unless you mention more about the ATGM. The anti-tank anti guided missile thing. That might be interesting. But otherwise, whatever. So as always, thank you guys for watching this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you guys next time. Peace. Granite, Z, Tuchi, Hoda, Kuna, Knight, Sonora.